All right, we're gonna show you now how to install the Intune Reflective Knock Tuning Tracers. Now, these tracers are much like uh, our Intune Aero Wraps. So you install them in a similar way, but the reason we came out with these tracers is that some of you don't like a lot of tail weight. Maybe you're trying to get your FOC as high as possible, so you don't like any extra tail weight, and you don't like that extra weight that an Aero Wrap would add to the tail of your Aero. These tracers weigh under two grains, so it's very insignificant weight adding to the back of your arrow. But because they're reflective, they're also very easy to, uh, to find in a low light situation where you can use a flashlight and be able to see the reflection so you can find your arrow a little bit more easily. And also, the entire point is to be able to knock tune. And that's what, why we came up with the uh, in tune wraps and tracers is so that you could bear shaft knock tune your arrows uh, and make that process a whole lot more manageable. It's a very tedious process, but it's worth it because no one should want that arrow to fly better than you when you release it. And you know that if you put in the work, you're gonna have the confidence that that arrow is gonna fly well because you've already done the work before you've gone out on your hunt. So well worth your effort and we're gonna show you how to do it. So um, you start by just peeling the tracer off, obviously off of the adhesive backing. And I like to use a needle just because it helps me situate uh, it helps me situate the tracer a little bit better on my pad. Uh, I like to use uh, a cushioned pad. You can use a mouse pad. This is like a, a kitchen cushioned pad. It just helps the, the shaft give when you roll the shaft uh, to, to apply the tracer. But you wanna make sure that your tick marks, which are used for knock tuning, you wanna make sure those tick marks are at the bottom or along the bottom of your shaft. So just make sure you position the tracer that way on your pad. And this is where I like to, to try to just use a needle or something with a lot less surface area, just so I don't have to touch the back of that tracer a whole lot. And uh, you know, it's probably a good idea as well to maybe uh, take some acetone and just clean lightly clean and dry off the base of your aero shaft so that uh, you get good adhesion from the tracer. Um, but what we're gonna do, much like we would do with an aero wrap, is we're gonna line up the shaft parallel with the edge of the tracer. Now, you really need to stand right over this to make sure that you're parallel. If you're not parallel, when you go to roll this, you could have the tendency to uh, roll the tracer on crooked onto the shaft. And if that happens, just peel it off and start over. They come in packs of 24, so if you're if you're uh, wrapping a dozen arrows, you've got two for each arrow. So, but we wanna get parallel with the edge. And once we know that we're perfectly parallel right here, we're just gonna take that shaft and we're gonna push down and roll all at the same time in one motion, push down and roll. And now, that tracer is on that arrow. This arrow just needs a knock in the end now. Uh, we can put uh, our insert and our field point in here and we're ready to bare shaft tune this arrow using our tick marks on the bottom of the in tune tracer. The wraps work the same way. Now, people may wonder, well, why do you go through the whole knock tuning thing? Well, there are a lot of things that can affect arrow flight when you release that arrow. There's hand torque, uh, there's, uh, you know, inconsistencies in your form, and you want that arrow to fly as straight as possible. So when the fletchings come into play and they're ready to correct that arrow flight, you want them to have to correct as little as possible. And so if you've knocked to that arrow to where that you can shoot a bullet hole through paper with that arrow shaft, then you know that at least as a bear shaft, that arrow's flying straight. When you put those fletchings on there, they have very little now to correct in any consistency, any inconsistencies in your form during arrow flight. So it's just less to correct. It is well worth the effort to be able to find your animal that you've shot and feel good about the shot you made than to make a bad shot or have some crazy arrow flight situation where you don't hit that you don't hit that animal where you the way that you thought you would, and now you've got a situation where maybe you robbed that arrow of penetration power because it wasn't flying straight. 
it, it went into the animal and it was flying crooked. And so these are all important things that you need to think about. And it's, it's something that's well worth the effort. So that's how these work. That's how you apply these. You can check out the other videos on our channel to teach you how to bear shaft knock tune these arrows once you get these uh, wraps or tracers on your shafts. We hope you have a great hunting season. We hope your arrow is just passing through. And we hope you have a great week. And remember, where the moments happen, we'll meet you there. We'll see you next time.